social and ethical issues, data matching. Now, data matching is an automated process of comparing records contained in databases. Okay, the process can be used for checking consistency of records stored across multiple database tables or entities, as well as delete duplicate content. Issues arise related to data matching when comparing data stored in different databases from different departments or organizations. So what we're doing here is, a person might have data stored them about themselves on one database and then they might have their data stored on a different database somewhere else. What we're saying is sometimes for integrity purposes, these two databases may be checked against each other to see if individual's data is correct. So on the integrity side of things, it might just be to make sure that those records are correct. But what also can happen in this situation too is people's data may come up as intentionally fraudulent or it may also give them access one department on viewing data in another record which does not pertain to what the other department is doing their work about so do they have the right to view that data so obviously it raises a number of issues so let's focus on the negative impacts first and firstly there is privacy the data that is stored on the information system is private with different systems storing different information about an individual relating to their personal details, health, or financial status. Sharing information between each of these systems allow for a lot of information to be discovered about an individual. Okay, so if I had my financial records in one of these databases, but not in another, but then these two databases are checking each other, is there a chance that other database that doesn't have my financial records would be able to find out my actual financial data. So that's at risk when these databases are sharing information. And obviously it's, it infringes on my privacy. The second area is access, ownership and control of data. Just because two different departments have data stored about an individual, does this give them that right to share this personal data between each other? Okay, that's that whole idea of ownership. Yes, they can access that data, and they can do their day-to-day -day work with that data, but they don't own that data, and they shouldn't have that ability to control and give it to another department, and say, oh, here you go, make sure your records are correct. But as we said as well, this is an automated process, so it's probably not people doing it like that and viewing it between each other, but in saying that, obviously the records are being shared between the two different database systems. Okay, but let's bring it over to the positive sides of data matching. And the first one I've already mentioned in that of data integrity. Okay, essentially that cross-checking records against uh, each other from a different source aids in ensuring that data stored about an individual is correct, improving the integrity of the data that is stored on a database system. Okay, it makes sure that data is correct. Also in the idea of normalization and reducing data redundancy, it's deleting duplicate content, okay? Because when we do have duplicate content, if data is edited in one area, then it needs to be edited in the other area as well, okay? But then if obviously a relationship is formed, hopefully those two databases uh, can then be connected and then updated in that way, if it's possible, if it's all happening within the same organization. But obviously that's all about maintaining that data integrity, ensuring that data is accurate, correct, and up-to-date on a system. And then the other positive is identifying fraudulent data because as we said, some people may actually give data to a system intentionally that is incorrect for fraudulent reasons. Okay, it might be to a government database so that they can claim a certain welfare on something, but that might be true to their actual situation. And if that database is matched against another database, they'll be able to see that they okay, can identify this person is doing the wrong thing. So there is a positive side to doing it. But obviously this is an actual issue where you do have to weigh up these positives and negatives. Is the idea of identifying fraudulent data, does it outweigh going against people's privacy? Okay, and that's what we're weighing up here. Does data maintaining data integrity in this way outweigh people's privacy? Okay, so that's something for you to think about. It's, this is really a great issue for weighing up the both positives and negatives in your HSC answers when looking at the issue of data matching.